Hey guys, it's A. Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm doing a collab. I've never done a collab on my channel ever before, and the first collab I'm doing it with is Julieta's Gymnastics. So go check out her video. Her video is going to be a how to do back handspring on ground, so check out that video. The link will be right over here, because <laughs> I don't want to do it over there, because there's not much space. So if you want to learn how to do an aerial, aka cartwheel, with no hands, here's a clip right here of it, then just keep on watching. Okay, I just want to make this clear. I told her I was originally going to do how to do an aerial and trampoline, but my friend was not available to let, lend me her trampoline, so Julia does gymnastics, I'm doing it on the ground. So yeah. Okay, so I just warmed up, and these are what you should stretch. Okay, guys, so what you're going to need to stretch are your legs, because you don't want to hurt yourself. That would be awful. So just stretch your legs. And I was wearing a jacket because it's super cold. Yeah. And when you're done stretching your legs, well, I'm not done yet. Just stretch them as much as you can because you really don't want to hurt yourself like I already said. I should probably stop talking now. Okay, so when you're done doing that, stretch your arms because if you suddenly have to put your arms down, you're going to hurt them unless you're on a soft surface. Which, make sure you're on a soft surface when you're doing this, by the way, guys. Now, I'm swinging my arms to loosen up my shoulders and get ready for the aerial. Wahahaha. <laughs> okay, so I'm now stre er, not stretching. Uh, I don't know how you would say this besides stretching, but a little rolling my ankles and stretching on my wrist because if you do have to put your hands down, again, it will hurt if you're not on a soft surface. And I'm stretching my arms again, just to make sure, and yeah! Okay guys, so you're first going to need a regular cartwheel. And I have a cartwheel tutorial if you don't already know how to do that. And you're also going to need a running cartwheel. Everything I'm showing you that you need for this is running. You also need it standing and running to do the actual skill. Next, you're going to need a one-arm cartwheel, and I know I'm super bad at one-arm cartwheels. Don't judge. Don't comment down below like, you're really bad at one-arm cartwheels. How do you know how to do an aerial? <sighs> I'm just really bad. <laughs> so you're going to need a dive in a pop cartwheel. Okay, so now you are going to go ahead and practice it. Make sure there's someone with you, but because you don't want to hurt yourself, but what I'm saying by that is practice running your dive and pop cartwheel. And once you practice that for a while, you can do a dive and pop cartwheel combined. Okay, so just practice it. Go for it. But practice putting your arms down. You just want to do a dive cartwheel with your arms really up high. And you really want to do a big like jump before you start it. Okay. So now just go for it. Make sure you get a spot. If you really need it, I highly suggest it. But just go. And I'll show you something that I'm doing with my arms. Again, I practice the dive cartwheel thing that I just showed you in the last one. But just keep doing it. And what I'm doing is I'm holding up my arms to my shoulders. And you can also do them crossed like this or down to your side. And if it's down to the side, make sure they're out a little bit so you can rotate them quickly if you need to put your arms down. Or else you hurt yourself. <laughs> so now just go for it. Make sure you get a spot if you need it. And yeah, that's how to do an aerial. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out Julia Does Gymnastics to see her video on how to do a backhand spring on ground. Bye. Thanks for watching.